What's going on everyone? Today we have a very easy way to make Corrupted Savior OP. This is the savior we knew and loved in the first game, and after the disappointment that regular savior is in this one, the devs have given us this complete monster back. Let's take a look at the build and then see how she performs. Hunter will be our prime class with a massive increase to ranged and weak spot damage. Hunter's focus got a large buff on the recent patch, making it activate faster. This grants almost zero recoil with much higher damage. Gunslinger as a secondary class grants more range damage and an increase to reload speed. Bullet Storm greatly boosts how many bullets you can get out in a short amount of time. My favorite armor set is the Crimson Guard armor with bandit gloves for a medium dodge roll and red look overall. Tranquil Heart is we're going to go heavily into health regen and not really need to take a relic ever. The relic fragments, range crit chance, range crit damage, and weak spot damage will be your best options. Corrupted Savior is the main weapon, and there are two things you need to know about it. Number one, momentum will grant you a large boost to crit as the mutator. Number two, you cannot use the mod on this gun ever. For those who were never able to use it in the first game, there are two separate builds for this gun, mod spam or ranged crit. When the mod is at max of five stacks, the weapon fires really fast. But after using the mod, it goes back down to none, and shoots very slow while building up. So for a ranged crit build like this, you just never use the mod, which is fine since you don't need to with so much damage. World's Edge with Overdrive is my melee choice as it fits the fashion. The Tech 22 is my favorite crit-based sidearm. Attach Song of a Fear and Bullet Weaver to deal with adds and lesser boss mechanics easily. For the trinkets, we have Nightweaver's Grudge for haste and 20% more crit chance. I used Gunslinger's Ring so that we have Gunslinger's Reload Bonus, Haste's Reload Bonus, and this 10% Reload Bonus. Bonus, making Corrupted Savior reload almost instantly. The swap speed also helps in a pinch. Probability Cord increases all of our crit damage, Zania's Malice increases all our weak spot damage, and Atonement Full bleeds us granting 10% more crit and proccing the bonus from our amulet 100% of the time. For traits, you want all bonuses to get out of attacks, so Fitness, Untouchable, and Swiftness are great, with Triage and Regrowth to boost passive healing even more. Then the concoction you want is Mud 2's Tonic, since we don't need any other buffs. This build crushes the game on Apocalypse difficulty with one of the fastest clears of the game I've ever had. Better against weak spots than anything else, but always works and officially makes Corrupted Savior OP. Here's my full run with the weapon, and I hope you enjoy. Aw, oh, I died instantly. That sucks. It's still gonna... Dude, I... Alright, alright, loss of being a freaking pain already. <laughs> Starting off this bad, I, I, there's literally no enemy near me, bro. I guess I gotta switch skills so I can actually see these dudes. Where's the weak spot? There it is. It's actually a little hard to find her weak spot. I think it's on her head, but it don't really hit weak spot very often. Where's she going right now? She's hiding from me. What a punk. There you are. Yeah, I'm shooting her in the head. It's not. I, oh, there it is. There it is. It's like the very. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's a very tricky. We. Oh, I think maybe you knock off her helmet and then it hits it. It seems like her helmet's off. Yeah, super easy though. I need my needle. That's the wrong button.
Fight is literally all a rhythm game. Need that ammo right there. to survive this. Easy. Easy win. Waiting on that dead rights, man. I'm, I'm not used to it. We've never used it before, really, so... That was a little early there, but I still made it out. Extra health regen just in case I need it. <laughs> See if I time this right. I usually don't. The best part about it is it's laser focused because of Dead to Rights. Like, Dead to Rights is actually insane. It's just been so unusable up to this point. Here we go. Here's the hard part. She cocks, boy. She cocks. Dang. A lot of damage. Easy, dub. <laughs> this gun's crazy, dude. This gun's crazy. This is going to be tough, though. I can't get hit in this fight at all. Gives a little to all my health. Oh, first try? Oh, so good. When does that happen, dude? That doesn't happen ever. Don't tell me I missed that. This is the tough part, because I can't really see much when that happens. I did miss that, though. That was... I think it's this one right here, though. Yeah, I got it. This weapon's insane for this. I knew it was going to be. It's an automatic. It has so many bullets. That's all this fight requires, is just a crap ton of bullets. Automatics are better at this anyway because you can do stuff like that. You can hit weird angles. You can't do that with a uh, precision weapon. I mean, you can, but it's extremely difficult. Oh, he, he got uh, good at fixes. We're fine. Yeah, 
Yeah, you don't take much damage. Good old Legion, you piece of garbage. At least it doesn't have thick skin. This thick skin really hurts. If you're running a Kurt build and you get thick skin on Legion and you just go, ah, like instant sadness. Taking zero damage in this boss fight is incredibly difficult because I'm happy. Alright, skills came back. The uh, weak spot based builds or even crit builds in general don't do very good against Legion because you have to really focus down ads quick. And with the weak spot build, you're you know you're not able to actually hit him very often. You gotta kill them. Then you get to shoot him. This one's doing pretty good, though. I mean... Oh, I didn't kill him. I was hoping the beam would kill him. Take a relic there. Zero chance I got out of that attack. There's no way. <laughs> Dang! Off me, nerds. Oh, weak spot builds are so bad for this day. They do no damage. They literally do zero damage. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I just thought of. Um, we might be able to deal more damage when he's in the flying bloater. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. He's not gonna live very long, though. Oh, 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 oh. 
was gonna leave anyway. I'm gonna save my mod. Let me hold down the delete button real quick. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. in the face. That's gotta... That's gotta hurt his ego. I'll get him. I'll get him. I'll get him. Don't worry. Yeah! Take him out. Nice. fast. Probably phase transition him too fast. I did. <laughs> Take a relic, get my skill back. Whoa, that was weird. The platform almost killed me. I looked down and it was an empty hole. <laughs> I died to Tauratha? That sucks. Oh, thick skin. No wonder. Yeah, thick skin don't feel too good on Tarata. <laughs> Since he has, you know, less weak spot. Really spamming the ads. Fight's like pretty 50 50 with ads. Sometimes you get a lot of them, sometimes you get a pretty decent amount. So you rarely even have to deal with the belly bump because you're usually far away enough where he doesn't do it. Just spawn that guy inside that pipe. Dude. Ooh, corrupted savior works on these. Most uh, special weapons don't. Ah, of course. Most special weapons don't work on those. That's cool. Hate when that happens. Well, that's not ideal.
Such a goofy movement, and I'm dodging early, and it's just not, it's not soon enough. Ah, man. Such a goofy enemy. Thick skin, of course. Tried to catch me off guard there. I don't appreciate that. Oh, come on, let me stay behind you, buddy. I mean, thick skin is heavily hindering the uh, the numbers here. It is reliably staying up with the uh, focus, though. Oh, I dodged into it. I hate when I do that. Very common mistake that I make, unfortunately. Dude, it's being real weird right now. <laughs> Got him with the beam. Nice. He was acting very odd. He just kept spamming one attack, even though I wasn't staying behind him very well. Empathy? Okay. Venom just ain't great for automatics because you miss a lot of those weak spot hits. This armor mechanic is pretty brutal for automatics. I mean, when it works, it works, you know? So nice when he misses that attack. <laughs> Definitely very good, but I would not say the best. But still very, very good for Venom. They got Hardy, so. He actually gets to be in the fight for a little bit. Ha! <laughs> got him. I got him mid attack, too. Aw. Oh. The ammo bug is still in the game. Why have they not fixed that one yet? Because it's one of the more annoying ones. But there's just ammo laying on the ground that you can't pick up. <laughs> oh, that was a way early dodge on my part.
Ha, I messed that up. I'd say dead to rights is slowing me down slightly in this fight. But it's not enough to really matter too much. Place that slightly. And she don't beat Plasma Cutter, but she's real good. She's real good. And she's very reliable, too. I, I think with the haste and the, the Gunslinger Ring, the reload's just so fast. Definitely way better than Plasma Cutter in terms of reload speed. All right, what time did we get? 2.22? Guys, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good time. That might be one of my best, actually. Consider this. I haven't played this game in two weeks. Three weeks. I have not played this game in three weeks. And this gun was still able to melt in two and a half hours. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy.